video on how to connect your Catra account to Seller and just the preamble of how the integration works. So Catra has lists, so basically lists where you put email addresses in and what the integration with Seller does really is put people in a Catra list or remove them from a Catra list. And when you have that, you can now basically build automation. So they also have like automations on Catra. So the idea is when someone buys your product on Seller, you can add them to a specific Catra list of your choosing. And you can basically now build an automation to say, oh, if someone is added to a list, maybe give them a membership, give them access to ABC or start a sequence. So that's really the integration. For a specific product, you basically say, okay, put them in a capture list, and that's how that works. So with that explained, let's just go straight. So I would say before you start anything that Catra is a paid feature. So to use your Catra integration, you have to be on either the Pro or Turbo plan. So that's one requirement. So once you've paid for your plan, you want to click Integrations, go to Catra, You'd see an option here that says connect Catra account. I click that. You'd have two details that you need to fill, the API key and the API password. So it tells you really where to go get these keys. So it says my integrations, API top menu, and then my API. So once you're on Catra, you go to my integrations. Under the API um, top menu, you click my API. You click my API. And you see your two keys here. I'm just going to copy this, copy, paste. Um, I'm going to copy this, paste here. And I'm going to click continue. And that's all. That's really all you need to do. And it just shows you all the Catra lists that you have. And if you add a new list, or if you want to add a new list, and we can just do that for this test, I'm going to click this. I'm just going to say demo test list. Um, add a little description. Click next. So my list has been added on Catra. It's there. So now all I need to do is refresh this Catra integrations page. So the same link that is here. So the same link that's here and the new list should come up. So now I'm just going to go straight into creating a new product and then adding this list to it. And I'm just going to select an image. Um, this is a demo Catra product. Um, I'm just going to make this zero for our test and I'm going to say um, hello. So a couple of things. So the Catra option would be under your advanced section. And then there are two things. So you have the product list, which is this, this product type. It basically has the list and then you have the access duration. So this is straightforward. You select the list that you want. And basically when somebody buys this product, they're added to that list. Now this is where things get interesting and useful for you if you want to make some flexibility. So by default, if it's a digital product, the access duration is always unlimited access. So basically when they are added to that list, they are not removed at any point in time. We didn't, we, they're just added and that's all. However, if you're selling like a subscription and there are like two or three cases that are worth considering. So if you're selling a subscription product, this um, access duration now has three options and I'll explain what each of them and how each of them works. So with unlimited access, it means when a user buys this product, we add them to the Catra list and that's all. For subscription access, what happens is we add them to a Catra list when we, when they pay for the product. And because it's a subscription and because they are auto renewals and if we try to charge them next month and the subscription fails or if their subscription expires and they don't renew it, we basically remove them from this um lists immediately on Catra. So this is like a very typical use case that you can use for like your memberships that you're selling on Catra where you can have an automation that says, oh, once a user is added to a list, give them access to a membership. And then you have another automation that says, 
once a user is removed from a list so like unsubscribe from a list then remove the membership so it really gives you that flexibility then the other option is a part payment on limited access and what this really means is if you're selling a high ticket product and I'll give you an example so let's say you want someone to pay for products in two parts typically you do that by setting like this value so in two parts you do that by setting the number of times the user should be charged to one and what that means is after the user pays for the first payment they would only be charged one more time and that would be like the total package so if you're selling a 500k cost and you basically set the price as 250k the user pays once and after like a month we try to charge 250k again so in a part payment scenario you might want a situation where if a user pays for the first time they are added to a list however if we try to charge them again and it doesn't work we simply remove them from the list and so you can have like some automation built around that maybe notifying the user and anything you want so that's how the three of them works you can play just you can rewind if anything isn't clear and you can always just reach out to us by um, our live chat or email so I'm just going to make it simple by going to digital products I'm gonna uncheck this and then I'm still gonna keep this as unlimited access so basically after they pay they are added to a list and I'm just gonna click create product and that's it so now I have my test product and from the settings it means when somebody has I'm gonna change this to the demo list just so it's like an empty um, so that's the new list that we made earlier so this one so there's there's no one in it now so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to click this get product and then I'm going to just use my name my personal email um, Douglas and yeah so I bought the product and I think in like a minute or less than a minute if I come to my Katra and I refresh the page I should already be on this list so if I click this it should have my email address yes so that's how it works so I'm just going to tell you how the connection works and which is what I've explained so far so now once you you can add people to a list via the integration it's up to you to build your automations or your sequences or however that connects to adding people to a list and removing people to your list so you have that full flexibility I hope this was helpful. Um, again, if you need any help, feel free to reach out to us at hello at seller.co. Thank you very much.